I would get cramps on the day I'm vlogging. That's not gonna stop me though. So today's video is an exciting one for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is a vlog. Haven't done a vlog in a very long time, but a vlog that is all things home, which is so exciting because these are my favorite kind of videos. Like there's just updates that we need to do. So I'm excited to show you guys. We're gonna be vlogging throughout the week just because there are deliveries coming throughout the week. The couch is actually currently being cleaned right now. I really don't have a set way I'm gonna be filming this video, but it's gonna be just random clips throughout the week of the things we're doing. So if you guys like those kind of videos, go ahead and thumbs it up. And without further ado, let's get into it. So as I mentioned earlier, our couches are being deep cleaned today and I'm so excited. So we get this done every six months to a year, just depending on how dirty the couches are. And to be honest with you, we have never had struggles with the couch at keeping it clean because we try not to eat on here. And if we do ever have stains on here, we usually clean it up right away. But another trick that I do is I actually flip these over. So I don't know if you guys can see, but these are detachable and you can flip them around and that is exactly what I do. So here is one of the stains that's on one side, but overall this is just gonna freshen it up, make it look brand new. The company that we hire is so amazing. They are a small business here in the Valley, so I will tag them down below. If you guys ever need your couches clean, they are the best. And I can tell you that right now because white couches are not the easiest to clean and they make them look brand new. So if they could do that to a white couch, imagine any color that's not white. It will look amazing. Our couch is officially done being clean and they came out so good. And the reason they're kind of just on the couch like this is because they are currently drying. So in a few hours, I'm gonna flip them over so that the other sides can dry. I really don't like to place them anywhere else because these chairs actually stain. We learned that the hard way. I don't wanna put them on wood. I don't wanna put them on the table. So they're, they're better off just right here. But they've been sitting like this for a couple of hours now. And once they're close to being dry, we'll flip them over. And then from there, I will reattach them back on and fluff up the couch and make it look nice and pretty. I went ahead and changed my shirt. I actually took a shower. <laughs> but I am now about to get into a deep cleaning of my fridge. Whoops, hold on a second. This is something that I actually do pretty often. Once a week, I clean the fridge out, but deep, deep clean it maybe every two weeks every month depending on how lazy I'm feeling but it is time we have old food in there we have a lot of things that just need to be reorganized it's kind of like Tetris like you have to know where to put things at and it drives me nuts because I have this thing where like certain things need to go here certain things need to go here certain things need to go here and so on and if we don't stay on top of it and it's looking like this my OCD kicks in so you guys know I want to like reorganize it again so we're about to do that right now pull everything out clean it off, see if it's expired, throw old stuff away, and then put everything back in. How old are these salsas? Let's be real. Oh my God, what is this? What is that? <laughs> I never ate this cupcake. That's not good anymore. show you guys all the way around so you can see everything that we're working with so pretty much when I deep clean the fridge as I mentioned to you guys earlier I like to go through each and every single row clean these out wash them if needed we got caramel stuck on there there are some caramel apples we had so I like to clean it top to bottom and then from there place everything back in on its shelf where it goes as I mentioned we do have some stuff that's old sad day you excited so excited to do this <laughs> I can tell <laughs> I'll never forget the first time Sebastian and I lived together. We had this apartment and I decided to clean up the fridge and I pulled this out. I took it to the sink and I put hot water on it. It completely shattered and I couldn't believe it and apparently you're not supposed to do that. I learned that the hard way and I do not want to lose one of these. It's all about the aesthetic over here. We are done. So much better, so much cleaner. So if you guys have not cleaned out your fridge in a while, this is definitely your sign to tidy it up, organize it, and get it nice and clean. So the couches are completely dry and ready to be put back. And then we are in a good place. I'm 
feeling so accomplished today. The fridge is cleaned out, the couch is back together, and it looks so good. It smells amazing in the house too. Honestly, like fresh laundry. Best smell in the world. How is it already 11 o'clock at night? We gotta go to bed, good night. Good morning. Oh, look at this. I just swatched and I got some stains on there. Um, oh, hello. Oh, no. It's a big mirror. It looks really, really heavy. Exciting, exciting day. We have a few home updates going on. Adding some new pieces in here. So excited to show you guys. This shit looks heavy. Wow. Wow, it's beautiful. <gasps> yeah, pretty much. What do you think so far? It's bigger than that one. It's way bigger than we but thought. I like it a lot. It's stunning. So that mirror is going to be going there, and then we're actually going to be swapping this mirror and adding this new art piece that just came in. I actually made it myself, and I just sent it to get framed. <laughs> So they just finished installing the mirror as well as the new beautiful art pieces in here. This is exactly what I wanted for this room. I wanted something soft, not too loud, but just to go with the vibes of the dining room. This came out perfect in size and color and everything. And then over here, the mirror came out absolutely beautiful. It's so freaking big, guys. My favorite part about it is the walnut wood that is on the side right here. I think it's just so warm and so inviting and looks cozy in this space. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I'm gonna clean off the mirror right now because it is super, super dirty. It has fingerprints. There's a little bit of dust on there because it's been in a warehouse. And then side note, this is kind of like random. Something else that I actually wanna change are these right here. So originally this wall was dark gray. We decided to paint it white. And the only thing we didn't change were these. So I gotta go ahead and find some sometime this week and switch those out so that it just kind of all blends together. Okay, that was good, do it again. <laughs> Love you for that. Okay, you guys, Sebas is actually going to a Dodger game tonight. He bought his dad tickets for Father's Day. It's him and his brother and a friend going. So he's having guys night and I'm having girls night, which is like me cleaning, me unboxing and me showing you guys a new home decor. So the first thing I wanna show you guys that I got in is this aqua blade. I was influenced by another influencer to get this. It took kind of a while to get it, I'm not gonna lie. I think I waited like two months, but it's finally here and I'm gonna be trying it out today on my windows, seeing if it works. We actually always get asked how to clean our windows and we have a squeegee, but one thing about the squeegee that we have is that it is so heavy like this is heavy this is heavy so i can't do it by myself so i have to help me and then you guys know when you're like cleaning down all the water drips and it's kind of like a mess well this catches it in here so you don't have to worry about water getting anywhere um i i can't really remember the tutorial that she did i just know that i was blown away when she was going down that is like next level squeegee it's not your typical one so i'm gonna be doing it on these windows maybe not all of them maybe just one this is like the dirtiest one right here a lot of handprints. I'm gonna clean that window down and we're just gonna try it out and see if it really works. With the package I ordered, it came with obviously the large one and then this small one, which is perfect for like the bathroom or I don't know, just like smaller windows that don't necessarily need the big blade. Did also come with this carbon cleaning cloth. This cream polishes and shines with the power of carbon. It also came with this one, which I'm assuming you would take this one out, put it in there. Uh, water and soap and you can like really 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 clean on something that's maybe has a little bit more build up um, I think for today we just need water so we won't be using this one but in the future if I use this for a surface that needs it I will let you guys know but let's freaking do this guys I'm actually like really excited I mean first of all I love cleaning so this is like no surprise um, it does extend it's almost as tall as me so I would say like I'm 5'3 on a good day so I would say this is probably like 5 feet let me see, does it extend anymore? Oh, wait. No. oh no, that's it. But you know what, this is good. I don't think we need any more than that. Ah! Let's go ahead and spray the windows down and get to cleaning. doing all of the windows might as well and 
I feel this is just like any other squeegee. I didn't see much of a difference. I was actually expecting the water to go inside of the yellow, like it claimed, and it didn't do that at all. I mean, it was an easy cleanup, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted the water in there. That's like the whole point of purchasing this. I feel like it was just like any other squeegee, but also it did clean my windows really nicely. If you guys have it, let me know. Comment down below if I did something wrong or if I should've been holding it in a different direction so that the water could've went in there. Um, but my windows do look nice and clean. I have to clean the inside now because <laughs> that's where the real handprints are. I am back inside and I wanna show you guys some home decor that we have added to the house and recent stuff that I purchased. I also wanna update you guys on our newest addition to our home, which is a new tree. So for those who follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this tree on my stories so many times already, but anyone that just follows me here on YouTube or is just watching this video or you see my house tour and now you're here, we have changed the tree at the entrance of our house and there's a reason to why we changed it. So this is our newest tree and she is a black olive tree. Since we have moved her into the house, she has grown so much, she's so much fuller and honestly, I'm shocked she's alive. So the reason I'm saying that is because the last tree we had was like this beautiful fiddle leaf tree, but I, I fucked up guys. Have you guys ever had a plant and you're like, God, please don't die, please don't die. Literally, it died on me. I murdered that plant. It was my fault. First of all, look at this, the size of the pot. It's huge, right? So when I first purchased it, I remember the guy at the plant store was like, you need to give it a lot of water. It's a very needy plant. It needs water, light, water, light. So I'm like, okay, you guys, I wasn't told how much water. I was just told to give it a lot of water. Honestly, I don't know, but I drowned the tree and it started to die, which I didn't think a, a tree could die from overwatering it. Keep in mind, I am like the worst plant person ever. I don't have that green thumb. So this tree that I had, the first one, was a big responsibility. And I was so proud of myself because I was like, yeah, you're never gonna need water. You're gonna thrive. The reason I knew something was wrong is because a lot of the leaves started to fall and they started to turn yellow. And then they started to grow these little bubbles, these little black bubbles over the leaves, over the branches. It, it looked almost like bugs on there, but it wasn't bugs, it was so strange. One day I was at the top of the stairs and I noticed that the whole tree was covered in this like sticky residue, these little black dots all over. Come to find out, it was infested, it had sap, it had all kinds of stuff wrong with it. It was so bad. So we got that tree out of this house and after that, this area was bare for a little bit. I didn't want to rush into a new tree until I felt like we were good and I found the right one. So anyways, I came across this beauty right here and I said, I will not let this one die. Also, a lot of you guys on stories recommended this moisture meter from Amazon. This detects how much water the soil has. Also another plant that's doing well, this one's not new, but it's doing really well, is this one. Look at how many leaves are just coming out of her daily. You can see there's like new ones, there's babies, and I talked to this one all the time and I also rotate the basket maybe like every two weeks so that each side gets enough light and it's doing good. I recently had to give it a haircut because there was like another one that was like coming and falling down and this way but you know I'm proud of myself because because as I mentioned to you guys I'm not a plant mom and I was afraid they were all gonna die and it was just gonna be so sad. I do have three dead plants in my house right now but I refuse to move them because it's kind of a vibe. The dry aesthetic is kind of it right now but I don't know, maybe I'll replace it, maybe I'll get better. Who freaking knows? Since we're here at the front entrance of the house, I wanna show you guys our little mud room. I've never shown this before on my actual channel, but on stories, I'm always showing my OOTDs on here and I do get questions about this little spot. This little area right here comes in handy almost every single day. I add my jacket, my bags. If I'm gonna be going somewhere I don't wanna forget, I leave it here at the front and I always remember it's also a perfect place to change your shoes. And then right here is where we keep all of the stuff for the boys. So we have their leashes, this right here, I don't if you guys ever tried this for your dogs it's called a mud buster you just add a water in here and put their paw and it cleans it out for you and they come in all kinds of sizes it's on amazon if you guys want to check it out um but anyways we put all of the boys stuff in here and then right here this is another spot too where we keep more leashes they have dodger hats so we keep all the boys stuff in there and then this cushion was custom made because originally there was nothing there it was just wood which would hurt your ass if you sit on there so we added this cushion and I'm obsessed with the color of this. It's like a beautiful tan linen, very lightweight, and just honestly goes with the vibes. And then up here, we just have 
decor. This bowl is so funny. This was actually from Target and there was an earthquake a few months ago and this fell down and cracked. And now I low key love the crack. I think it looks really nice. So we put it back and just left it right there. And then these little candle holders are from Crate and Barrel. I thought they just looked so pretty right there, even without the candle. I love the look of them. In the future, you may see these in my beauty room because originally I bought them for the beauty room, but ended up liking how they look right here. So this is just kind of the look right now. And then this beautiful vase is from Pottery Barn. I've had this actually for a while, but I think they still have it on their site. So we've covered that, covered the tree. Let me give you guys a quick update on the guest bedroom. I actually don't think I've showed you guys the guest bedroom in a really long time. And there's like a little update, but not really. We're actually not even done in this room. Recently, we just purchased this new bed, but it ended up being a lot lower than I expected. So the bed frame is from CB2, the three pillows in the back, and the bedding is all from Target, part of the Casa Luna collection. And then the throw is from Crate and Barrel. These frames right here are the famous home goods frames. I was influenced from another influencer named Valerie Starr on purchasing these, and honestly, it was such a good buy. I bought these a few years ago. Originally expected the bed to be a lot higher, so they were gonna be perfect, but I don't know, guys. Like I said, this room is still like under construction. I haven't dedicated time in here. We recently got these new curtains from my friend's company, 411 Studio. If you guys are in the Los Angeles area, highly recommend checking them out. They are a small business, mom and dad and daughter run it together and they're honestly killing it. Now this side is honestly a hot mess. <laughs> I don't know what is going on over here. I haven't started on it, but originally I had a different mirror, but the mirror was so small. I ended up gifting it to a friend and then I haven't done anything to it yet. I do want to change these mirrors and do a chair here. I just want it to feel very relaxed. I'm actually going to post some inspo right here so you guys can kind of get the vibes of exactly what I want to do in this room. I also want to add a light picture. And then this side over here, another area that's just random. We have a side table that was at my old house. Definitely lots of changes going on in here, but I did want to update you guys on how it looks because I've never really shown this room. Once I decide exactly what I'm going to do, the decor I'm going to go with, and everything, this will be going down as a full room transformation. Theater room. No changes in here. Still looks the same. This is a plant I was telling you guys that is dying. She is dead. She is not alive, but you see the dryness? It kind of goes with the room, right? So I'm not moving her, I just stay away from it and it is what it is. Uh, by the way, this planter is from Lowe's. I believe it was about $100 to $200, but it is massive, really good quality, super heavy, and just a vibe. It's nice and textured. So if you guys are into these, I highly recommend checking them out. Anyways, I got so many new goodies to show you guys and I'm actually gonna pan to this camera because that way we can see it all. And 31. We are back on the iPhone. I just love filming on the iPhone. It's so much easier. On top of that, I have you guys right now with the ring light and the tripod, so perfect. I don't have to worry about stacking books and making and making this work. This is normally what I vlog on. But anyways, I feel like I've updated you guys already about all the home stuff we've done, the mirror, the frame, the tree, the entrance to guest bedroom. There really hasn't been much changes in the house since the house tour other than those. And then of course, some new home decor pieces, which I'm excited to show you guys because I got some really, really good stuff. I am such a sucker for home pieces, especially when I go to Target or when I'm online on shopping for websites, I always like seeing just what there is, like what's new, what's going on. I'm a lot better at not impulsively buying anymore like I used to. I used to just go online, see new things, buy, 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 they would arrive and I wouldn't have anywhere to put them. So now when I buy something, I have to envision a spot for it and if I don't see a spot for it, it's not gonna happen. That's like the way I think now. I know that sounds really bad, right? But when it comes to home things, it's one of those where you're like, oh, I need it. I know I have one similar, but I need it. Kind of like when you guys buy like a new lipstick or a eyeshadow palette or a highlight, you're like, oh my God, I don't need it. And then you see it and you're like, fuck, I need it. That's me with home stuff. So let's go ahead and start with the first item. And we're actually gonna start with Target stuff because everyone loves Target home decor. I truly feel like they have some of the best. And right now that they have collabed with Studio McGee, you know they are busting out all the good stuff. So the first item I bought is this beautiful, beautiful bowl centerpiece. I don't even know what to call this because it is a bowl, but then it has these cute little legs. So I purchased this first and foremost because of quality. It's clay, it's like really, really heavy duty. The texture on this, it's kind of lived in, it's ridged. I also love that it's not white and it's like this beautiful beige tan color. So this will fit perfect anywhere in the house, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, like it goes with the whole aesthetic. And this is something that you can have alone like this with nothing in there. I have mine like that, but I feel like it would also look pretty if you did like candles, just something unique through, I don't know. It is $35, not bad because this is part of the Studio McGee collection 
And if you guys have ever been on McGee & Co, you know it is an arm and a leg for a piece like this. It would probably be on the website, maybe 135. So 35 bucks is not bad for the quality of this. And then another piece I got part of the Studio McGee collection is this decorative tray. Again, very similar in color. It's like this beautiful limestone and it does have also some light veins going through it. This is so beautiful for jewelry and perfumes. That's exactly why I purchased it. So this is actually in my closet and I have all my go-to things on here. So I have like my necklaces, earrings that I wear all the time, and then just a couple of perfumes that I wear often. But if you didn't want it for jewelry, you can also have this. And the entrance of, like in an entry table, you can put your keys on here. There's just so much you can do with it. I feel like with a piece like this, you can really decorate it or leave it on its own. This again, it's also part of Studio Maggie, and this one is $25. I feel like if you were to feel them in person, you would understand that they're like bomb quality and they're not cheap. I also purchased these really, really cute pots, again, from Target. I just love the texture, the look of it, the feel of it. It's just so pretty. So this is one that I didn't, I could not pass on. And then I did add her big sister to it because I can't pass on this. This one you can use as a planter or a vase. Right now I do have it upstairs on one of the shelves and it looks beautiful. I feel like these are pieces that you can move throughout the house, throughout the year. Cause I'm somebody who will look at something for a while and then I'm like, I don't like how you look there anymore. I'm gonna move you. And I actually like recycling my decor. So I start moving things around. And this is one that when I purchased it, I thought to myself, I could actually all of these, I thought I could see it here but I can see it there and over here. Like I, I envisioned it in many different places of the house. So this planter is 25. And then I believe this one, I took the tag off, but I believe this one was maybe like 15. Next thing I got are these two canisters for my bathroom. I have been on the hunt for canisters forever. You know, where you put your cotton rounds or your Q-tips and I couldn't find any good ones for a really long time. I randomly was on target.com and came across these. And look at how cute these are. Textured, neutral, my vibes. I'm a fan of these. I think these are really cute. It's hard to find cute canisters without it having silver. You could have easily made these like this with like an acrylic finish like most of them do. So it's really nice. They kept it more like that stone finish. So my reusable cotton rounds go in here and then Q-tips go in here. This one was $9.99 and this one was $12.99. So next I wanna show you guys some pieces from Shop Gitana. If you guys don't know about her, she is a small Latina owned business here in Los Angeles. And one of the things that I love about her business is that she has her whole family working with her. Her dad, her mom, the list goes on. They started in her backyard doing everything out of the garage and now they've upgraded to a warehouse and are honestly killing it with the home drops. These right here, these three are actually part of her resort collection that launched this summer. I am so obsessed with everything she launches. Like every time she does something new, I have to stay away from the site because I will go crazy. I just love all her items. Everything she drops is just so beautiful and are pieces that I can see throughout my entire house. So I have to be careful when I go on her site. But I do wanna show you guys my three most recent purchases from her. Uh, this one right here is my favorite. It is a slanted vase. You see I'm holding it like that. Normally you'd be freaked out because you would think it's round, but no girl. It is slanted, it has this nice flat surface that's meant to go on a book or on a shelf. But this is something that I feel like I would see in a resort. It's just so beautiful. The texture of it is so nice. And again, a piece that I can see anywhere in my house. Oh, chef's kiss on this one. Do you guys like texture in your vases or on your decor? I really love the rustic look. I just think it's beautiful, but this one right here, I'm gonna hold it between my thighs, it might be a bad idea. But this right here is a beauty, it's got that texture as well, and then it's a taupey neutral color, it's really nice. And then this one right here is the Jarron, another favorite. This one right here just looks so rich, it's absolutely stunning, like she honestly killed it this collection. Next I wanna show you guys a new shower curtain that I got for my bathroom, actually my guest bathroom, I splurged on this one, it was an expensive, expensive shower curtain but honestly parachute is bomb if you guys have never tried their bedding it is so good so you guys know i'm like a target casa luna kind of girl all my bedding is from target same in my guest bedroom but i do have this one quilt over the bed it's called a cloud quilt and let me tell you guys right now that cloud quilt is unlike anything i've ever slept in my life so we do use the casa luna one but we have that one on top sometimes we actually remove the casa luna one and sleep with the cloud quilt it's just amazing it's such a good blanket and i'm actually planning on purchasing one for the guest bedroom after i show you guys everything i'm going to take you upstairs and show you what that blanket looks like because it is so so good you guys know i'm passionate about my blankets and what i sleep in and what i feel what i like give my guests you know i'm crazy like that but it's a good one so i decided to splurge on that guest bedroom since that bathroom is used pretty often 
but it's so pretty guys so this fabric is very similar to the one that's on my bed but the one on my bed is like thick you guys will see right now and then i did get a new shower rod on amazon i don't know why two of them came in i only ordered one but whatever we'll make it we'll make it work somewhere in the house by the way i haven't told you guys but i finally got my amazon storefront set up and i don't know if it's just me but i'm struggling like trying to find the link to show you guys. Like I wish it was like an easier way to find people because even for me, when I'm trying to find like another influencer's storefront, I can't find it. It's so impossible. It's like only if they link it or something, it's really strange. So that's kind of been like a little bit of a struggle on there. I will link the storefront down below in case you guys want to see it. It's pretty updated, but I definitely have to add some new stuff on there. Um, but anyways, this shower curtain, let me show you guys. Look how nice that is. It looks like a straight up pottery barn one. I went with this one because it doesn't require any nails. The last one that I found required nails to be bolted and one side is like a wall and then the other side is actually kind of like a tile. So I needed something that was like this, like that silicone rubber that would just stick on there. And this is really nice. We did purchase one from Target that's similar to this, but oh my God, it's so bad. It falls, every time someone's in the shower, it just like falls down. So I wanted to upgrade it to a better one. And this one's like heavy duty compared to like the plastic one that I have in there. What's next, what's next? Next, I have this really, really cute. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is a piece of wood. But no, this is actually a really cute little upgrade that I did to my kitchen area. I follow this girl on Instagram who actually had this in her kitchen and she had set up on here all of her olive oils, her salt, her pepper. For the longest time, we have been needing like our oils and certain things closer to the stove, but me not wanting clutter anywhere, we just gotta put it in the pantry and we would have to run, go find it, come back instead of just having like the essentials there. So when I saw how she decorated this and how she made this work, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna order one. I'm gonna see how it looks because I feel like this could actually work. I personally think that this piece of wood is overpriced. It is definitely expensive compared to something that you can just get at Target, Walmart, Home Goods. I feel like you could buy something very similar there. If you guys like the look of this, go there first before you go on the site. I'm still gonna link it, but I recommend just checking out those stores first because this is, like I said, a little overpriced in my opinion. So I wanna show you guys how cute this board looks here in the kitchen. So we add all of our oils towards the back. We have have avocado grapeseed uh, this one's olive and then this one we haven't used yet but it's white italian truffle and we do our pepper and our salt and then the little canisters one goes there and then this one so once it's all set up this is how it looks and honestly it's so much better than just having a bunch of clutter there or having to run to the pantry to grab everything out speaking of kitchen stuff i have so many new pieces to show you guys from goodies la Goodies LA is a store that nothing is over $25. Nothing at all. They have stools, ladders, baskets, kitchen stuff. Everything sold on their website, but then they also have a store in Los Angeles in Silver Lake where you can shop in store. I've heard the line is crazy out the door, like super long, so you have to get there very early. It's a really, really cool place. Like I really like all their items and they have good quality stuff. But anyways, I want to show you guys some stuff that I got in. This is actually a package that they sent to me. I nearly died because I love goodies. So as I mentioned, nothing is over $25 on their website. But sometimes there are like a spoon like this and it will be $25 exactly. So some stuff, como se pasa, you know what I mean? So just heads up, if you go on their site, you're going to notice like one item will be 25 and then you have like a ladder that's like huge. It's like 25. So kind of like pick and choose where you want to drop it. But then there's other things that are like $5, $10 and so on. First of all, I got some new wooden spoons. Wooden spoons are always a must to have. I love these for salads. I have like small little dishes around. These are perfect to add in there. Can we talk about this canister? Look how cute this is. It has a little spoon where you can scoop out your seasoning or whatever you're getting you're gonna laugh when i tell you guys what's in here so i dumped out two bottles of trader joe's everything but the bagel seasoning and it looks like so gourmet and then i have these two other ones one is like a really thick sea salt sebas uses this when he's making steak and then this over here we have yet to use it but i envision salt pepper like a little moment you know so these are just really cute canisters to have in the kitchen very useful especially if you're cooking you need something quick these are perfect to have around. I personally love to host at my house. I love having family over and friends over. So this is great for not only charcuterie, but you can do fruit, you can do little sandwiches, you can do little bites on here. And they also are really nice decor as well. So there's many ways you can use them. I love this board. Something about the cut. You guys know, I don't like perfect things. I like things with like character. 
This is so pretty to me. I love these, they're really nice. And they're also really good quality as well. You can tell they're not like cheap. Next, I wanna show you guys my new glassware that I purchased from Shop Amber Interiors. Something I really love about these is that it's actually a sleeve. You can take it off and throw it in the dishwasher or wash it, and this will not get ruined because I know some of them come like glued on. So I purchased four of the small ones and then four of the large ones. This is perfect when we're by the pool, we're barbecuing and we wanna have our drinks outside, Jamaica, whatever you're in the mood for. Since we're on the topic of glassware, I do also wanna show you guys another cup that we have been obsessed with here at the house and it is these beer can bottle glasses. These are my favorite for my iced coffee. Sebastian loves having Coke with ice in here. You guys see how it kinda of looks like a Coke can or a beer can? So we purchased these from Crate and Barrel, but I heard that you can actually get them on Amazon as well. I believe on Amazon they are maybe like a buck or two cheaper, but definitely worth a shot checking it out. Every time I post these on my stories, I get so many DMs about them and you guys wanna know like where they're from. So I will link both Amazon and uh, Crate and Barrel here just in case one is sold out or if you guys wanna compare the price or the difference in them. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys these because they are also part of the casa. I'm about to go to dinner, but I came upstairs to show you guys the cloud quilt from Parachute because this blanket is everything. So I personally had never heard of this up until I went to Laura Lee's house. She was showing me her curtains in her room, and when I saw this blanket, I it was one of those that like I kind of had a feel because it looked just so good and so soft. I fell in love with it. I ordered it right on command because that's how much I loved it. So this has been one of my favorite blanket purchases uh, for our bedding. If I had to pick between Casa Luna and this one, I would say splurge on the cloud quilt because it is unlike anything I've felt before. It honestly felt like you're on a cloud, but it's so lightweight, but so heavy duty at the same time. This is the one blanket that Sebastian absolutely needs every single night. He sometimes gets really hot if there's like too many blankets on the bed, but this one he does not sweat at all. So uh, you can rest assured that he will not be sweaty in this one and it just feels so good. So what I like about it is that one side is tan and then the other side has this beautiful cream color. I alternate them depending on what I'm in the mood for, but today I went with the OG tan side. If you guys want to splurge on a blanket, I recommend this cloud quilt from Parachute. It's that caro though, FYI, but it's a good one. So that concludes today's vlog. We hope you guys had a good time just kind of hanging out with us in the casa outside of the beauty room outside of the kitchen and outside of the podcast room um i honestly love having you guys with me throughout the entire house hanging out and this is actually really fun if you guys want more videos like this let me know give me ideas help me out please <laughs> all right guys that is it for this video los quiero mucho and i'll see you guys in the next one bye